There are so many opportunities to serve in Kelloland, but it can be hard to know how to get started. The City of Sioux Falls wants to make it even easier to sign up to serve with their Sioux 52 initiative. Leading the effort to get you plugged in as a mentor in the city is Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken. He's here to tell us how the city plans to recruit 5,200 mentors by 2026. Good morning. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Good, good. We're glad to have you today. So yeah. first, before we even get started, because 5,200, that's a lot. We're, we got to talk lot. about that. But it is a lot. Sue 52, this initiative, mm -hmm. I mean, where did this idea come to mind? You know, when, when I took office, I really spent the last year and a half kind of trying to unpack where the needs are in our city. A lot of times when you're outside of the office, um, you know, when you're a candidate, you think you know what the problems are, and then you get into the chair and you realize, okay, now I see where the gaps are in our city. We have hundreds of people, a lot of kids that are on waiting lists for mentors. Uh, we have dozens of programs in our city that accept mentors, but we have this huge void, this huge gap. Uh, we need more people to step up and help. You know, mentorship is proven to uh, reduce recidivism, keep kids uh, out of uh, jail, keep kids off drugs and alcohol. We have a lot of felons that are returning into our workforce that need someone to walk alongside them and show them how to fill out a resume and help them be productive members of society. And so mentorship just touches so many areas. And so we started to look at that problem and say, what can the city do to help with that? And, uh, and our goal is really this. We want to connect the 200,000 people in Sioux Falls with the dozens of programs that exist and say, listen, we want to put a huge dent in the hundreds of people that need mentors. And so we're, it's a huge call to action. It's a messaging effort to say, we need you to get up, give time, and help mentor someone in your community. So let's talk about how this is happening. There's yeah. a couple of different organizations that have come together to create this Sioux 52 initiative. Yeah. So let's talk about how you guys are working together to create this place that people can sign up to be a mentor and then how you place them. Right. So what we didn't want to do is create another mentorship program. We have a lot of programs, as I mentioned. What we created was called Sue 52. 52 weeks a year. We need an hour a week committed to mentoring, and we want 5,200 uh, mentors, net new mentors. That's the key, new mentors by 2026. So what people can do is they can go to Sue52.org, or they can call the 211 Helpline Center. Either of those ways is a way to get signed up. What happens is you get asked a few questions. Um, you know, I am comfortable around kids. I'm comfortable around felons. I have an hour a week. I have five hours a week. Uh, I want a faith-based program. And based on that, they'll say, hey, here's two or three organizations that would love to have someone like you with that experience, that much time to give to mentoring. So really, we're bridging the gap. Sue 52 is bridging the gap to the programs that exist and the people that are out there. I would love to get to a point, Brittany, where we're actually, um, we flip the script where we have several thousand people who want to mentor, but there's no one in our community who needs it. Right now, it's the converse. And it'd be great if we can, uh, in, in Sioux Falls and in this region, flip that so we're kind of known as the city that mentors. And being so involved with the community, you know firsthand how many great people we have here, but... What does it really take to be a mentor? I mean, what qualities should I have? How do I know if this is something I'd be good at? You know, that's the cool part about this program is we're just basically connecting people with those programs that exist. And those programs will be able to screen people, for lack of a better term. Say, hey, in order to mentor with LSS or with Big Brothers Big Sisters or with Collision, they'll say, you need to be comfortable with kids. And do you like kids? And do you have a passion to serve? Really the base underlying um, personality trait you need to be a successful mentor is you need to be willing to pour into someone and give some time to someone. Uh, that's really all it takes. It doesn't matter your income level. It doesn't matter your job title. Uh, for me, I mentored a homeless guy who was 63 for about three years. So I was at that time in my 30s mentoring a guy in his 60s. So it doesn't even often mean that you're uh, mentoring someone younger than you. It takes all different forms. But the common trait through all that is you have to want to help someone and pour right. into someone. That's a really interesting point that you could be paired with someone who may be older than Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So as far as pairing people up, are, I know you said you're going to ask questions like who you're comfortable working with, mm -hmm. but is there going to be some sort of compatibility test that you do, or how do you really kind of decide right. and decipher who's going to go where? Well, each of those organizations has their own intake criteria. And so uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters and LSS and the Community Outreach and others, they will, they will uh, ask a series of questions of that mentor, and they'll determine who's a good fit with 
which clients that they currently have. So Sue 52, we're not responsible for matching up or purely responsible for saying, get off your couch, get connected with one of these organizations and become a mentor. So far we've seen um, several hundred people in the community answer this call to serve. They're stepping up to mentor. It's really raised the discussion about mentorship. And you know, mentorship, we were talking off air a little bit, it's a long-term game. I mean, if you want to make a dent in crime, if you want to make a dent in um, you know, juveniles who are ending up in the JD scene or are making bad decisions, if you want to make a dent in uh, you know, getting our felons back into our workforce and, and reacclimating them successfully, that takes time. And it's a long game. So you have to start investing people now so that in 5, 10 years from now, that 12, 13-year-old kid gets on the right track when they're out of high school instead of making wrong decisions that will put them on the system, put them on the city, potentially land them in jail. So we're trying to make change in our community one person at a time. All right, Paul, let's talk about the different ways that we can get involved now. We have a few details to go through. Yeah, for sure. So... Uh, on the screen, you can see Sue52 uh, is the URL. So if you can go to Sue52.org, uh, you can sign up to be a mentor. However, if you're a business, what we're also encouraging is businesses to get involved. So what does that mean? Basically, we just want businesses to say, hey, we are a mentor-friendly business. What does that mean? We want businesses to say, listen, we're going to allow our employees time off to go mentor. Uh, we're not going to uh, be real sticklers with them on their time if they have to spend an extra hour in the morning or an hour in the afternoon once a week to leave work to go mentor someone. You don't have to officially sign up for that. We're just saying we're asking businesses to be mentor friendly. The other thing we're doing is we continually need more mentorship programs. There's a lot of programs out there that need mentors. We need to know what those programs are. So if you're an organization that accepts Mentors and needs mentors, we need you to contact the Helpline Center uh, to get signed up so that when someone calls in and says, hey, I want to mentor, we can match that person potentially with your organization. So mentors, mentees, businesses, organizations, uh, there's room for everybody to get involved. All great stuff. Thank you so much, Paul, for yeah. coming in today and telling us all about this new initiative. Yeah, thanks for having me.